Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Reverse 1999. Um, so I haven't played the game in a while, we still have to finish the story mode as far as I'm concerned. Just get rid of this Xbox thing, okay. So yeah, um, I guess there's a few things we need to do, but first and foremost, yeah, I guess we finished that, and uh, we can go over the new story, because there's actually very cool stuff. Um, I think I missed, like, two character rotations. It's been, like, three weeks, maybe yeah, about uh, a month, three weeks a month, about, since I've played. Basically, since before winter, since before, like, December 16th, because <laughs> I literally just had nothing else going on um, during winter break, other than hiking, too. Literally make my bones die. Okay. So. Um, we did get a new character. Because we just summoned. It was this lady. Kalabauna. Kalabauna. Some, uh, that's the best you're going to get out of me. Uh, we got Kanjira as well. Another 5 star. Um, I forgot your name. Tenant. She's also another 5 star. But I'm pretty sure she's already... She was already in the game already. DK and X already here, so that's good. Centurion was the newest one that I remember. So actually, I haven't been gone that long. Uh, before that, it was... What was that lady's name? I forgot her name. Um, she gave you a lot of stuff. That's all I remember. Damn it, what was her name? She was the... um. The lady that came with Pickle. I forgot her name. <laughs> um, does it like show you? And uh, I mean, it's just gonna show me some cherry on it. <laughs> I really forgot her name. Wow. Yeah, I completely forgot her name. I forgot what her name was. I don't have her, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we got our Kala Bauna, whatever. <laughs> just the time I expected. Be my guest, timekeeper. Okay, she's very hot. That's all I gotta say. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna level her up to level thirty. Um, she's an Arcanist, as far as I'm concerned. Which everyone is here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, I need to get a lot of stuff sharpened. What is this? Plan is to remove gains one of the following effects. Wait, what? She gains even more effects? Okay, so this is a crazy character that I kind of have to go over before we finish our story. Because she is just really cool. So she's supposed to be an astrologer. That's where she has the telescope. Um, and she has like all this planet stuff. Penetration rate. Leech rate. Oh, wow. So basically she will rotate really well. That's what this is doing. So, okay, right, let's go back. So before I do her inside, I'm going to do that obviously. But not to, well, I'll do it today, but not on video. Um, she is a burst damage follow-up attack DPS. She does a lot. Um, she can keep herself alive with just her basic attack. So, she she can stay alive for a pretty while. Like, if you have a healer, she's staying alive. Um, she gets leech rate. It doesn't come off. They share the same limit. Planets effects are stackable and cannot be dispelled. So, she literally just gains two Mars. Um... So these are like planet stacks, right? So if you go up to three, she gains three Mars, and then that's all she can have. Um, the second buff is Saturn, and then the last unique one is Full Moon. They're all planet buffs, all of them. Um, so yeah, so with just her basic alone, she can keep give herself 18% increased leech rate. And she does a lot of mental damage. I mean, it's up to two enemies. Oh, it's two all the way on a sink. Oh my god, yeah. So she's doing... A lot of damage. She is doing a lot of damage. She's basically like Eternity, but I think more single target. Yeah, more single target instead of AoE. Um, but she's also just like crazy. She she just helps herself. So Saturn gives you penetration rate plus six, and she can gain up to three as well. So mental and she's a mental DPS. Mental DPS. She only does mental damage. Some characters do both. Um. After removing all planets, deals 600 mental damage and gains two full moon that 
grant incantation my plus six each up to three planet can be carried so what this does is basically it takes away all of her stacks that she had before so she doesn't have leech rate or penetration rate whichever one that you stacked up you can have one or two but like you know there's you can only have three at most that's what i'm saying she'll dispel them and then she deals 600 mental damage, which is ridiculous, and gains two full moon that grant incantation might plus six. So it's basically all of her incantations will deal plus 12 damage. Um, and you'll have the full moon until it's dispelled, because it can't be dispelled, and it, not dispelled, removed by her own ultimate. So if you're able to have like a moxie increaser on your team, this is going to make her so broken. This is a ridiculous character. I'm probably going to keep pulling for... I mean, Cetereon is uh, still pretty good, but I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, so the thing what I said about her insight is that she's going to be able to cycle better because she has the two moon after she uses her ultimate, which is what you want to use anyway. But after she's done with her ultimate, she's going to have the moon and she's not going to be able to get rid of them until she is at... Um, oh yeah, and Insight 3 has a lot of stuff. So until she is basically... Well, until she gets to her ultimate, right? Because she gains one more stack. So you can do one of her other attacks and she'll gain either leech trade or penetration. And then after that, you have to wait for a little bit. Then use her ultimate. And then you kind of stick with only one of these, um, one of the planet buffs. So reaching inside one basically makes her rotate a lot better. Because if you give her leech trade, which is what I would do, she basically gains the Mars or the Saturn one. I forgot which one it was. I think it's the Mars one. Yeah. So she will have the 12% leech rate, and it doesn't count as a planet. It's a uh, gains one of the following effect types based on the planet removed, but it doesn't count as a planet, right? Yeah, it's only Saturn, Mars, and full moon. But the divination itself does not count, so you can still, for example, get another Mars stack. So you would have Mars, Mars divination, and then two full moons. So you would have incantation might plus 12 percent lead trait and then plus six from the just the normal mars and that would just give you enough so that you have the 18 lead trait that you would have if you had three but it also gives you the versatility of having the two moon might so basically you want to get it inside one and you're pretty much golden after that um i don't know what her portraits do like i i think uh four planet can be carried okay now that just makes her a lot better actually that makes her a lot lot better <laughs> Gains three full moon after casting ultimate. If at least three full moon are removed, gains empower incantation. Oh my goodness! All right, basically, the longer she's alive, the the more damage she's gonna do. <laughs> yeah, and then you can increase the um, Saturn and then Mars. So the leech rate and penetration that is ridiculous. You do have to get five copies of her, but if you get four copies of her, at least you're pretty much like. What does the last one do? Sorry, I'm spending so much time on this character. Okay, she does a lot more damage though. So, I mean, I guess the last part would just make her really flushed out. But, holy cow, she's broken. I'm going to be using her like crazy. Do we have enough? No, we only have one to max here. Okay. Alright, well, let's finish the story. Just because we literally have uh, a few, few stories left. So, let's finish the story today if we can. Um... Sotheby is still Sotheby and Druvis are still fighting back, that's all I remember. Um Is Virtin still in her coma? I don't know. Let's let's check this out. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> I know that we're still fighting the foundation right now. Oh, you're also here. Oh, and Lily is here, right, 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 okay. Yes. I am taking combat drills with the artificial somnambulism training system. Okay. There shows a real link. Six hours. I'm God going, damn. I'm goofing around. Jesus. No, I'm not. Six hours. I am not goofing around. I am waiting for orders. <laughs> well, much luckier than me. I have so many things to believe. Beat Buckle. <laughs> have you heard it? Literally me. Wonder, please. <laughs> I should have. I like this character already. They promoted me to the Foundation headquarters. 
They don't have any field missions for a flying witch. Is it because of the provisions of talent protection? Only God knows. How's the rest? Maybe a better name. Mm. Interesting. She drinks from her flask. <laughs> she says it good. Since we're both bored to death, what is it? Hmm. Have you tried the artificial somnambulism joint training? Put on the helmet together and switch to multiplayer mode. Two operators can take on a harder training mode. More like playing in the arcade. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. I think uh, you're about to have a bad time, Sano. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the revising goes into function. The multiplayer mode has been initiated. What did you say? I Ooh, nice controller. It's been a long time. Why not have the. The light is flashing. I switched to the hardest mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the chaos. There's no time to wait towards the big red. drill starts. Bro, she's literally like a sergeant. She's like, let's do this. She's about to go rainbow on the mass. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Just the lineup. Spirit. Mineral. Okay, there's. There's a lot of mineral. Okay, well, not this. We can't really. Mm. Okay, so we take you out. I think we go eternity. We just pull out all the stops here at this point. Yeah. All right. So we have just we have one in. of each. I will be home by 10 p.m. Oh, jeez, I forgot to do this. Uh. Does it really matter who we bring with? I guess we bring balloon party just in case. It's. Just... Other. Yeah, these are they're all using these. Oh, okay, there we go. Sure, why not? Okay, let's let's see how this goes. Wow. So many things that I haven't seen. Okay, we can do a multi AoE. I think we do that. So we do debuff this and we move this to the Yeah, we can leave it in the front, just in case we get another health potion. Oh, we're only allowed to use two characters. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Actually, what I did makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> hey, we're only allowed to use two? What the hell is that? the hell is that? Okay, we do this as well. For now, just so we can get in those AoEs, you know what I mean? And I guess we can give ourselves the heal for now. Um, I want one more poison before I use Sadabi's ultimate, so I'll wait. We're also like at full moxie basically, so okay, this is good actually. Don't go after her all the time, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um so we won't have poison, but we can fuse these two together. Do this and then do that. Hopefully that'll kill the guy with the ultimate. Okay, it kills both of them. Alright good. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Um, how many rounds do we have to, uh, do we just have to click kill them? Within 15 rounds, okay. That's decent, actually. If, it, if it's not 10 rounds, we're good. Uh, I guess we just debuff them all, pop all the poison, and we're not really strong against anything, but... I guess we go after this dude, he looks kind of scarier. Okay. This won't do a lot, but at least it'll do something, you know. Okay, that did a lot more. Never mind. Sadabi, you're you're a queen. I'm I'm sorry <laughs> for doubting you. Oh, we put them in the days. Nice. So they don't get a buff, but they do get to hit us. So that kind of sucks. But you know. Oh, okay. They spread the damage around. They're being nice, which doesn't make sense, but. Yeah, I guess we do this, and then we just get our health up. Okay. Wait, does it matter if you do the cure first? No, because it's, it's per round, right? Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's per round anyway. Okay, so we do another debuff. Um, that'll kill that. Yeah, because we're, we're attacking him anyway. Um... Yeah, and then I guess we can hit you again. 
Because this person has poison, so I want to see if we just hit him once and then he can die to poison. Three stacks of poison, by the way. I think that should be enough, right? Okay, no, we actually killed him, so. <laughs> I apologize, but that's not what happened. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna need health. We're gonna need to kill this dude, though, so. Ah, oh, he's at his ultimate. You know what? We're gonna be using a lot of Saw the B anyway, so we'll just use this. Oh no, but we want the health first. We'll do this, and uh, I don't know, move this in front, whatever, it doesn't matter. Because this is going to kill this dude anyway, so. Oh my god, it didn't kill him, of course. A fucking course. One fucking percent HP. I fucking hate the devs, they can go to fucking hell for all I care. It literally, it does not make any sense. Logically or mathematically. <laughs> There's no way that the chances are that fucking great that it's always 1%. It's something that they've coded. They just don't want people to have fun. It's that simple. That would have been so great, but of course, didn't work out because the devs don't know how to build proper battle experience. <laughs> I'm joking. It's, it's okay. But it's like, at the same time, it's like, really? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Literally 1 HP every single time. We also only have 2 characters, like, Jesus Christ, tone down the difficulty a bit, huh? <laughs> I mean, we are uh, on the last chapter, I think, or the la the 4th chapter, so we're, we're pretty far still. That did a lot of AoE, I'm not gonna lie. We only have 6 rounds though, like, this is not looking good, I'm not gonna lie. And they're gonna attack her all the time, so, that sucks. Some grade A bullshit, that's what I say. Okay. Um, I guess we try and kill with this and then we do the heal thing. I think our, um, she's dead. <laughs> we don't have to, uh, save all of them though. Cause, uh, look. It doesn't say that we have to keep anybody alive. But I'm, yeah, I'm sure you're going to attack her and be a little cunt, because that's usually what they are, the AI. So they don't know how to do anything but be little cunts, just like the devs. You know how it be. Um. God damn it. Of course it's like this. Well, we could do the health, just so that we have it. We do the debuff and then we do the attack. We're going after this lady because she's going to attack next. We don't have to go after the chest, obviously. She's going to take her own health, but it's fine. That's why we have the heal. Okay. We have three rounds, basically. Okay, stop going after the character with the lowest health. That's just bullshit that they always do that. It just is so bullshit. Oh, I, okay. This is good. We do this, this, and then this. This should do a lot. Okay, this should do a lot. Go to hell. Just just go to hell. Just die. Okay, so they both die. Um, we gotta still kill this dude. So that... Oh, okay, we still go. Cause it just... He didn't have a turn. Okay. Uh, I guess we... Just go ham on him? I don't know if this will kill him though. He does have poison though. I don't know if this will kill though. It's supposed to be an AoE, so. And it kills. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we still have one round, one wave to go, so we're definitely not completing this in the 15. Why do they only give us two fucking characters? It, there's so much that you have to go through. This makes no sense. I understand why I stopped making videos on this game now. And I understand why it's pretty much dead in general. There's literally nothing to do and they've overdone everything. Like it doesn't make sense. Just in terms of balancing. It literally does not make sense. Like the amount of enemies makes sense. Like, that's fine. Like, the damage you're dealing, okay, that makes sense. But you only get two fucking care. What's the point of bringing four if you only get two? Like, at that point, just leave me with three. 
Like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill him before he kills my characters. Like that just makes it just the balancing makes no fucking sense, and I'm just gonna be wasting my entire time doing literally shit. Like I'm not doing anything. <laughs> And then this person's gonna gain a shield, or this boss is gonna gain a shield once they hit that, so that's gonna be really annoying. Whatever. And then they're gonna gain their moxie a lot faster, too. They take double the amount of turns because the devs hate anything called progress. Um. Shit, so actually, I think we do this. We do the poison and then we pop. Double pop poison. So. Three stacks, triple pop, sorry. And I should pop all three stacks. Yeah, three, oh, that was a thousand decent damage, I gotta say. They're down below 50%, now they gain their shield or whatever, or what? They have like a special ability below 50%? What's the, uh. When around ends, casting control gains one stack of control resistance, continuous AP. Yeah, like, this is like. Okay, then uh, fuck you devs, why should I play this game? It's just like, there's no balance whatsoever. <laughs> it's all pay to win at this point. <laughs> it's not even, like, it's not that hard, the game, but... It's just the fact that you, there's all this shit to keep track of. Okay, actually, no, that, that, so we do this. We let that fuse, we do this, and then that. I don't think it's gonna matter, but I think we're still gonna die here. Yeah, I think we still die here anyway. We know how the boss is gonna be. Okay, and then kill one of them, right? Oh no, kill both of them, right? Because the devs actually hate progress. That's their whole uh, thing. And I have balloon party left, so um, yeah. Wow. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't even do the story. That's fucking ridiculous. What the fuck? Y'all saw how I was doing s completely fine with the last story. I don't understand what... It's like we went from... Oh, it's doable to... Uh, fuck you, give us money. <laughs> so I guess we're at that point now where the paywall is uh, this one. Because Insight level... Insight 2 level 5. That's what it's recommending. Yeah. <laughs> well... It's sad that uh, coming back to this game, I'm pretty much showing you <laughs> something bad about the game. But, uh, you know, I knew it was always there. I just never faced it, really. Like, yeah, there was some progress slowdown, down. But honestly, that was just me not playing the game enough. At this point, I've been playing the game for a while. Like, and I've been grinding for a while, too. If, if, if I'm at the point where I can't clear the fucking story because they want me to have maxed characters, there's just no point in playing the game. <laughs> There is not at all. It's literally just rinse and repeat gotcha at this point. Like, I thought they were going to do different stuff, but it's, there's, like, I know people are wondering why I stopped making videos. Like, it's just, it's rinse and repeat. The only reason I was interested in it at all was the story. And I was like, okay, if they're doing different stuff with the story, hopefully they do other stuff with the game. Literally nada. Zin shit. They literally have done nothing to make the game better. It's pretty much the same rinse and repeat content. You do battles. They release new characters. That's pretty much it. I mean, like, I... <laughs> There's a reason why I, my content is still done. Like, I really just have the story. But again, the story is requiring me to have max characters, which makes no sense. Literally, story mode should not require anything from you other than like maybe base maxed out character not insight level freaking threes or whatever and then like it's just like resonance whatever like it's just like there's too much stuff that you need to have maxed out that it makes they want they want you to play only their game and that's not that's not gonna happen <laughs> i'm sorry but your game is too shit for me to only play this game like it is a hundred percent if a game was good enough to the point where I would only play it, I would. Has that happened in a while? No. I think the last game that I ever played that was like that was Kirby's Return to Dreamland. <laughs> uh, that was such a great game that I could literally not stop playing. I would play it 24-7. Of course, it's a console game because console games, or at least the good ones, give you everything when you pay for it instead of releasing shitty DLC and putting you in this whole cycle where you gotta keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like, I, 
I'm the the magic is lost. Epoch Games, Blue Games, whatever you want to call yourself, the magic is lost. Um, and the thing is, there's like if they at least had a PVP, I would be like, okay. Like yeah, it's this aesthetic that's like cool and unique, but it doesn't really matter if the gameplay isn't there. Like even content creators. The only thing I really see is draws or late, really late game content. That's like some stuff, but I haven't even really seen that any, like, like, I'm sorry for saying this, y'all, but I think this game is dying because they're not actually updating the game. They're just releasing characters <laughs> and they, they're releasing good story. Like this story right here, very cool, very like, you know, unique and everything. And like the way they go about it and everything. Like, kudos to you. This is the same problem with this light, right? They're doing the exact same shit that this light was doing. But this light at least has a PvP mode. Problem is that they ruined their PvP mode. So, <laughs> that's another story. Um, so, maybe they're just trying to perfect it. But, I mean, there's so, they're doing again, they're doing the same thing as this light. Where they're waiting too long to update a very integral part of the game. Where it's making people not happy with spending time on the game because there's really nothing <laughs> you have your characters and you have story mode and then pve content that's it and there's no leaderboards as far as i'm concerned like there's nothing they don't even have like leaderboard content it's like literally you go into this game and you're just playing with yourself <laughs> which sounds wrong don't take that in the right context but you literally that's all you're doing and i know like there are some games that are made like that, but this game is a gacha game. Gacha games are supposed to be social. Like, there's supposed to be some aspect of it where you can connect with other people, you know, have battles, compare accounts. Like, there's supposed to be some connection to it, but I feel like it's just too far devolved into this thing where it's like, it's focused around you and only you. And it's like, they want you to be the this to be the only game like that that's that's basically what this the vibes it's giving me and i can't do that i'm sorry there's this game isn't interesting enough for that there is a lot of cool stuff i'm not gonna lie and there's like cool things going around but it's like yeah this is all character stuff for gotcha resources that's like in every other gotcha like the specific weapon stuff so you can start buying the uh freaking whatever they're called, the, um, Psy Cubes. Like, again, it's like exclusive weapon stuff. Like, it works better with some characters, it has specific stats that work really well with some characters, and then some of them are unique, like they have unique effects for specific characters. It's like, I'm taking a whole overview of everything, and I'm realizing that this game is not, it's literally nothing. Hello, Sorry for saying that, but it is. Like, it's basically build your own collection. That's what this game is. You build your own collection and you do whatever you want with it. But you can only do stuff with your own team and the enemy. And I think that's why they overdid the enemy bosses, but that's also a problem. People have, I know people have been complaining about that. There is a lot of overdone content in this game. And people are like, oh, it's not that hard if you, like, grind and do this but that's the thing right people don't want games where you have to grind to the point where it's literally leeching your time because <laughs> at that point what is the point of playing the game um i'm gonna do a video on the source because i have her at uh five finally with her uh, of course i'm gonna get her insights you didn't bring any coins did you checks oh wow Damage reduction, okay. Heal plus 10. Okay, so I might just get her inside too then and then do a video on her. I haven't, I don't think I've done any rare characters, so that's... Oh, no, I did. I did... Actually, I've done three of them. Never mind. <laughs> um, there's a new character that I did not see before. Chris so Dalio. Yeah, like, I'm sorry for, like, shitting on this game if this is your favorite game, but it's not that good. It really isn't. I mean, even my favorite content creators aren't really post- Like, the most things I see are draws. Which is like, every every game is going to be like that. As long as the gacha game, they will have draws as like, 
content creators making videos about them drawing and spending ridiculous amounts of money. <laughs> um, yeah, like it's like there's literally nothing for me to do in this game, so I don't know what to tell y'all. Like I'm just collecting. So like I can finish story mode, but again I'm gonna have to do some grinding first. Like that was ridiculous. Y'all saw that. Two characters for fucking four waves, a whole ass boss, and like fucking 20 minions that you have to defeat. I, that just does not make sense. Because you need a healer, at least. Otherwise you ain't going to be... Like, I, I think I'm gonna just have to bring DK and try and like do some shenanigans with her because... Like, I need more damage and I need heal, but like... <laughs> It's just ridiculous. Like, that that was so overdone. Like, I just want to quit the game at this point. Like, that literally has given me vibes that I should not continue playing this game. If that is what is going to be <laughs> the norm in the game. Like, that is fucking ridiculous. That is so stupid, it's not even funny. Um, Are you here to confirm this now we can get a resonance on him. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for this video. You know, I tried doing story I went over this new character who's really broken um, so again they're having a lot of power creep in this game too so I know people are like like all oh, these are crazy new characters just let it play out no they're literally releasing power creep espers they're doing the same thing as fucking dislike but they're doing it in a much more like mellow way but it's still the same thing the formula will still give you the same result it's just less of it for now but it's still gonna you're still gonna get less people playing the game as there already are like there's a lot less people playing the game i know that for sure there is there's just a lot of shit like i'm just like okay <sighs> i'm just sad because i i really do like the, how the game works and the aesthetic but one they keep releasing waifus they've barely released any guys so it's turning into a waifu game that barely gives you any waifu since in that and like like the same thing that outer plane is doing like they're it's so stupid you won't get more people to play your game if you keep releasing goddamn female characters people don't give a shit about that anymore like yeah you'll have the small amount of dweebs that are gonna spend their life saving just to buy a freaking waifu because they're you know degenerates and they love that stuff to literally their soul um but 90% of your audience is not going to spend money on shit like that when you do it every fucking time you release a new character. It literally every time. Tell me, when's the last time we had a male six star character here? Probably not since the beginning, right? We had a five star male character. Uh, I guess pickle counts, but that doesn't really count. That was like a furry thing, right? They were just a, a Paul. They're just like Suzanne you. You know what I mean? Table. Um. Balthus is still yeah. Well, I'm going to have to end the video here. It's just like, there's too much now. There's too much. And again, it's the same gacha system with every other gacha game out there. It's like, they release characters too fast. They don't focus on the content enough, which ends up giving you bad gameplay experience for most players. And they overdo the boss content because they have a lot of broken characters that can clear stuff if you have them high enough. And all the whales are going to be clearing that content. So it's just like, great. Thank you for um, releasing another game that's just ruining the gotcha sphere as, as a whole. Not completely, but it slowly is. I'm sorry to say, but this game is another one of those gotcha games that is just killing the genre game. Like, everything that's good about it. Like, the rates aren't that good. I'm sorry, people, but they aren't. It's good that they have a system that makes the rates better. Like, it gets better and better as it goes, but it, that doesn't matter if if you can't even get the 6 stars until the pity. So, <laughs> it's like, yeah, but that's why I got um, this character right here, Kala Bauna, because I was on the pity. So, I just did a 10 summon and was like, alright, well, let me just get her. Um, Yeah, really sad. Well, I think that's going to do it, as always. Thank you all for watching AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date my content. 185 subscribers this time. Check. See so y'all are amazing. Keep going. Yeah. It's like. 
what content do you want me to release on this game? They won't let me do story mode because they want me to have maxed out characters. And they won't... I guess I can do like the event stuff. I'll, I guess I'll do the event stuff in my next videos. Um, if I can pass the story mode then I'll do it. But at, at this point it's like... I can't even test it because they don't even let you go back and replay the fucking story mode. And I want you to be there for the story mode because it doesn't make sense for you not to be there. I guess now I can do it because it's just the battle, but then there might be story afterwards. So again, it's like the game itself hasn't been fixed with the core issues. And all they've been doing is releasing characters and then releasing some like story event stuff that is only giving the whales stuff to do, really. It, like it it's, gives me some stuff to do, but it's like it's taking away from like the fact that they're already making you spend an hour or two on all the, all the other stuff in the game. <laughs> yeah, sadness. I'm not going to quit just yet, but... I mean, if they give us two more months of just mundane releasing characters, nothing new, I'm just going to quit it. There's Ark Knight and F Ark Knight's Enfield coming. There's freaking um, Send the Zone Zero coming. There's so much shit coming. I shouldn't waste my time on a game that isn't going to actually fix itself and just release new characters for money and content for money. That's that's what I'm saying. That And that's my final word on this game so far. They're not 100% greeting on it, but it is becoming a norm, and they should probably stop it because they're doing what this light did, and this light died real fast, and this game is pretty much following example. <laughs> it's not to that negative side yet, but it's at the beginning, you know, when they had like the, f like right after the Athena and uh, Nyx event in uh, this light, if you were there for that. Well, anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video.